Hi folks, Ronnie here from fourwheeling in westernaustralia.com, the four wheel drive information website that has pretty much everything covered in regards to four wheel driving and camping. This video is another swag review. This was my old swag. There's a video right here to it if you haven't seen it. I replaced that with this swag here. I'm not associated with either of these retailers here. Either. Now, out with the old. That was a good swag, by the way. In with the new. To start with, I will tell you the reason why I have decided to upgrade. I consider this being an upgrade. Now, the reason why I upgraded is this one here is 200 mil wider. So it's 1100 wide as opposed to your regular 900 wide for a single swag. And it's got a PVC bottom. Now the reason why I wanted it wider is so I can take one of my kids camping and I don't have to lug around my big RV5 Austral tent, which weighs 25 kilos. So I can easily fit an adult and a child in this swag. No worries at all. Now I should probably mention the actual name of the swag. It's a Darcy swag. Like I said before, I'm not associated with them, so it's a non-biased review. It's a Darcy swag. It's called the King Tourer. Now these come in, in two colours. This one is the Stealth Black, and you got the Car Key, Car Key one. Now I went with the Stealth Black because it just looks cool. I, I like the colour of it. It ties in with the car as well when it's on a roof rack. I know it might be a bit lame, but I just like the black swag. It's I think it's cool. All right. That's the swag pretty much set up. As you can see, it's got a double dome pole over here and a single pole at the back end there. It doesn't have one in the middle, which is part of the reason why I got this, because I have dramas with the other one and it's just annoying because you can't really, you know, you can say if you can zip it the whole way, you've still got a pole in the middle. Right, so features it has is heavy duty ripstop canvas, like most other swags do. Up the top here, you have a stargazing sort of section which I really like, and is another reason why I got this. I reckon this is a cool idea, because most other swags, you, you've got your head down the end, and yes, you've got the mesh open, but you're sort of looking down sort of way. You're not looking straight up. Like your head's on a pillow, you're looking straight up. You can see all the stars here. It's awesome. And that's also why you've got the poles like this, to hold it like that. And over here, you can see they've um, allowed a lot of extra lappage going over, so that way when the water comes, and I've had this uh, two rainy days over that eight day trip I did in this swag to Esperance and, and beyond Israelite Bay. The rain, it repelled the rain quite well, except for in the stitching here, a bit of rain actually did come through, a bit of moisture. All right, and as most other dome swags, this comes all the way back. Now, you may notice, now this flywire goes all the way down, it's, um, it doesn't let midges in, because we have plenty of midges where we were. So in that aspect, it's good. But I find the holes are a little bit bigger than um, my previous swag. So when we do get a bit of wind and there's a bit of dust, or um, dust is always going to get in, um, sand on the beach, it does actually come in a little bit. So if you're one of those blokes like me who, when it's hot, likes to sleep with this whole thing open, expect a bit of sand the next morning inside your swag. It does have a vent at both ends as well. As you can see here, it's a pretty big vent, eh? Hey? And um, I used this when it was raining, and I got about the same amount of um, breeze that I did with just the top open. I think it's more so because you're tunnelling the, the air through. So these vents are on most swags anyway, and they're all pretty good, eh? Hey? Another feature is the mattress, you can get this with 50 mil and 70 mil mattress. 50 mil mattress, but I find is way more comfortable than the other 50 mil mattress I had in my previous swag. This, this mattress is really good, it's more dense. Oh, and um, at the bottom of this swag, they have a PVC bottom. You can see that there. Probably saw it when I rolled it out anyway. So any moisture, even when you roll it up and you stick it on your, on your roof rack, the rain, the rain won't go through the canvas as much unless it rains in from the side. 
So you can get away with not having a bag for, for the swag. Bag for the swag. The negatives and the positives. We'll start with the negatives so we end up on a positive note. All right, so first minor issue I find with the swag is when you tighten it up with just the canvas and then you roll this back because it's a hot night, this weighs down on the fly mesh and no matter how tight you put it, this is still going to sag. So it kind of touches midway on your body, which is a little bit annoying I find. My other minor issue with this swag is the size of the pegs you get with it. These are really piecey weak pegs in my opinion. And I've had this swag for eight days, used it for eight days, and I've uh, pretty much bent every single peg I've got. The pegs that are in there, they're bent as well, but they're still usable. So I will be upgrading my pegs, something to be aware of. Another minor issue was what I mentioned earlier. I had a bit of rainwater come through the, um, the seam where the stitching is at the top end. Now, I was in heavy, heavy water. Basically, I was under my awning and what happened was the awning filled up with water and then every now and then it will splash on the ground next to me. And it just kept like mass wetting the edge and eventually it just made a few drips through it. The next morning there wasn't that much through it to be honest, but it did let a bit of moisture in. For the positives, the length of the swag is 2150 long, so 2100 millimeters long and 50 mil and 1100 wide in millimeters. And it's really hard to find a swag that's 1100 millimeters wide. So that was my, my main struggle and was the main selling point for me to buy this swag. The other bonus for me is no middle pole and I think that's about it. All in all, I'm pretty happy with it. I've only used it for eight days, but in those eight days, I'm pretty stoked with it. One thing I have noticed though is when you roll this up, I think it's because it's black. It's like having a black car it looks a lot more dirtier. So if you roll it up in the dirt, it looks a lot more dirtier than the old canvas green swag. Green swags always look clean, pretty much. So that's pretty much this swag in a nutshell. If you own one or have any comments about it, leave them down below. Always love to hear from you. If you'd like to see my review on my old swag, it's right here. Go ahead and click on that. And remember everything I've said is my opinion only. I'm not associated with Darchi, so this was a non-biased review. Now, if you haven't subscribed, you can do so right here. Take care out in the tracks and trails, and I might catch you out there. See ya.